Hello Gemini, Rad from Radko Tarot here and this is going to be your weekly tarot reading May 14th to May 20th, 2018. <clears throat> so, first things first, let's go to the spread. Four card spread, the first one showing up the topic of your week, this is going to be the, the Knight of Cups. Second one is showing up the core of the situation here, this is going to be the Queen of Wands. Then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the temperance card. And the last one is the guidance that you need to, uh, that you should follow. You know, we do have the um, <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Wow, all right. So what we do have is detachment. And that detachment probably comes in career-wise. We're not talking about emotional separation here with looking at these at these two cards. It is probably from a, from a mentor of yours or someone that is helping you at this very moment, all right? And you have to realize moving on further is that this help is not uh, is not required anymore. Not just because that, but also because this person that helps you here with the Queen of uh, <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands, uh, this person also uses you for uh, utilizing its own um, its own agendas as well. So it's kind of like this help that y you are, is given to you, even if this seems um, you know for free. In reality, it, it isn't. And you can go with, uh, with your personal capabilities moving on forward here, as it said, with the Knights of Cups, you know, uh, by working very hard and also by following your personal dreams, the dreams that you do have, not the dreams that this person have. What will be the challenge, all right, is to part in a good terms. This is displayed here by the Temperance card, uh, because uh, the, this, uh, this woman most likely, all right, but also it could be a male, they are very jealous and they don't a very they don't take disappointments very well and also they don't handle it's not even departure but they don't handle uh, lack of resources or kind of like lost of resources and this is how they look at you as a resource because this person is very acute with scaling people's nature or kind of like you know people's capabilities so she knows how to or he you know knows how to utilize you uh, how to take advantage of your skills etc etc and that doesn't have to be only for a work guys it could be that <clears throat> person in your social circle which always asks you for something that it does seems meaningless to you it does seems uh, you know uh, kind of like um, you know something that you can do and will not interfere with your daily routine etc etc low of value for yourself but in the same time uh, it does consume a lot of your time and it pushes you a little bit on a different direction than the direction that you really require that being said you have to be um, more aware of where your soul is pulling you to pulling you toward or kind of like what you want and is this person here contributes for your wanting and or for your yearning and <clears throat> that deduction comes from the ten of swords the guidance you have to be very straight very cunning uh, cunning in a sense of you know cutting it's kind of like you you need to be honest and tell to those who does not want to follow you or who does uh, kind of like puts air conditions behind following you that it, it isn't working that way and if they are not with you uh, it is better not to <clears throat> be on your way you know and obstruct you for advancing forward that being said let me give you a couple of examples here uh, <clears throat> that could be regarding your career and you do have these good terms with a colleague of yours but this colleague of yours is always asking you for something is always um, you know uh, interfering with your time spent at work um, asking you to do specific things for them which doesn't seem very big you know they, they, they doesn't seem that uh, the world will be brought down if you do them but in the same time it does consumes uh, some of your time and on top of that are making them much more lucrative than you can be if you don't waste that time for their um, for their benefit and uh, what can I say it's uh, it will be tough 
because um, some friendships may drop that in case you go for uh, you know that particular departure here or kind of detachment from these kind of people that uses your resources but in the same time these resources here with the king with the knights of cups they can be traversed into a very productive work and it is very likely that you will find yourself uh, how can I place contributing or it's not even a contributing but exerting something you had no idea that you can until this very moment and that will be things to realizing that on your own you can be just as successful as if there is someone there to help you as this help doesn't come from for free and that being said it is very important to have that mindset here this week to force a a new era in your life you know to force the it's not even a forcing but to aim for these um, irrevocable decisions that you will take who is who is going to be beside you and who is not going to be beside you and as well uh, decisive kind of like irreversible actions to to advance forward with your things so that was one of the um, that was one of the examples that I uh, said in relationship, you know, that could be that there is a, a third party messing around and this third party is not a um, is not a potential suitor. This third party is either a good friend of yours or a good, good friend of your uh, partner or their uh, sibling as well, whispering in someone's ear that this relationship is not good for them, etc, etc. And when that and when is uh, this in, in play, then you have to confront this person and just, you know, lay it all out. So it's kind of like it is time for you, Gemini, to show your cards, to lay the cards down on the table so everybody can see where you're heading toward and what you really want um, to achieve in the near future. That being said, this was your tarot reading. Gemini Aries did I say there is also Gemini yeah so uh, that was your tarot reading Gemini for May 14th to uh, May 20th 2000, 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye